And new this morning, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and so working for you, we're telling you real stories of real survivors. Our Kelsey Anderson has a story of one woman who got out of her situation and the services she used to heal. We're not using her name or showing her face to protect her identity, but simply telling her story is a big step in the healing process. The trauma from an abusive relationship can come back days, months, and even years later. And that's how the story of the survivor you're about to meet went. She was out of her relationship, away from the abuse, but that trauma, it never left. I was in a um, bad marriage for 21 years. And when I finally got out of the marriage, um, I thought I was doing really well. She says when she got out of her situation, she felt euphoric, finally free, and it wasn't until a few years later all of that trauma came back and impacted her, her family, and her friends. About three years after uh, my divorce was final, I started kind of spiraling, and I didn't realize why. That's when she reached out to Assist Indiana for help. So when I first called, the first question I asked is, I don't know if I belong here. And they were just, whoever I, who I had talked to on the phone was just very, very sweet and said, I, you know, well, why would you think that? She tells me because she didn't experience physical abuse, she didn't want to take up services like this. I didn't understand that that wasn't trauma. I looked at, you know, there's other people that need this so much more than me. Um, there's people that are going through physical abuse that I can't even imagine. And so I felt like I was taking something away from someone that, that needed it. But she quickly learned that she did need assist because she needed to be believed and supported. To be able to come in here and, and have them hear me, actually hear me, they, they listen and, so to, to be heard and, and to be validated, uh, that validation is just, for me, was exactly what I needed. The, the, they believed me. They, they believed in what I was saying and, and, and just validated it. And now on her way to healing from her past. When I first walked in, they, they asked me what my goals were and I was like, just to be able to breathe. I just wanna breathe. And I'm finally at that point where I can, I can breathe. Now this survivor told us her story because she wants people to know what resources are available to them. Now, Assist Indiana is in Johnson County, but they do service these 10 counties. All of their services are free and of course are optional. If you wanna learn more right now, you can go to assistindiana.org. I'm Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.